business is closed. Um, what are some of the kind of features within the AdWords dashboard that change now with enhanced campaigns that allow that conditional level kind of variables on the part of, um, of an advertiser? Right. I think um, let me talk about time of day for instance, right? One of the things that we did with enhanced campaign uh, particularly with um, click to call and other extensions, we had a lot of advertisers saying, hey, my call center is not open all day. Yeah, I'm a small business. Mm -hmm. I, actually, my own dentist had this problem. He was like, you know, I use your click to call stuff, but I'm not open on weekends mm -hmm. and I don't want to take calls on weekends. I want that click to go to my website yep. on the weekend or not, uh, uh, you know, after evening hours or something. So we launched. Um, Scheduling of extensions. Mm -hmm. So you can really schedule, you can say, okay, I want to run call extensions only during these hours. And after this, I want to run location extension or other, other or site links or something like that. Uh, location is another important, um, important area where we made a lot of progress with enhanced campaign and continue to be a big focus, I would mm -hmm. say, in general on mobile. Proximity bidding, my examples, example with Miller's Bakery, it's very interesting. We are seeing increasingly advertisers are finding very interesting use cases of proximity-based bidding. For instance, we, we saw, say, car rental companies bidding really high around airport locations. Right. Kind of makes sense, right? We are seeing e-commerce companies sometimes bidding high for some of the uh, physical retail locations. Not that we, we tell them, but they, right. they do that. They figure it out. Uh, we see small businesses particularly taking advantage because then sure. they can really limit um, their spend and spend more effectively. Right. There won't be wasted impressions. Exactly. I think that also makes sense if you're talking about on a mobile device someone might be on foot and walking around and their locus of relevance might be blocks whereas right. if they're looking at home they might be getting in their car later and it might be miles or it That's might right. be that they're looking right. for something for this weekend. So it's uh, that kind of conditional targeting makes a lot of sense. Um, so enhanced campaigns has been active for, you know, it was I think late July when it went yep. into effect, so you know, a little over a month. Um, wh what are you seeing so far? Anything interesting or any, any learnings about how it's being adopted by either SMBs or just the general marketplace? Uh, what I'm hearing from SMBs or our SMB channel is mm -hmm. that a lot of SMBs were really struggling with how to advertise on mobile, yep. how to be on mobile. Sure. Right? They didn't have the resources to split out campaigns and manage multiple yep. campaigns and so on. They kind of they get all that flexibility now with, mm -hmm. with enhanced campaign. They can manage bids. They can vary bids differently for mobile without really splitting the whole campaign out. Sure. Uh, they can still create mobile preferred creatives. I gave some of the exam. One example was like someone adding call now. I yeah. think Colombo and Hard adding call now in their creative, uh, and that creative only runs on mobile. So you can do sure. that. You can say this is a mobile preferred creative. It's, mm -hmm. it's, so it run it only on mobile. Um, so it, overall, the response has been good. Mm -hmm. uh, I think one thing they are uh, probably struggling with, and this is, goes back to your data, is that a lot of them still don't have mobile site. Yeah. So where and the links are pointing uh, is somewhere that's not optimized and it exactly. falls apart. Exactly. Yeah. And, and some of them are hesitant to be on mobile. I don't even have a site yet. Sure. So uh, sometimes uh, in a lot of my conversations with, with uh, clients, I say, first go create your site. I don't even want to talk about features right. and, and how to spend money on advertising. Yeah. Forget advertising. Go build a great mobile site. Right. That's the first step. Mm -hmm. So, so that's, I, I, I hope that's, that will accelerate. I think there is a lot of attention in forums like this. People are talking about it. Mm -hmm. So I think I hope Now one, one last quick question. You mentioned calls a number of times and that's of course um, an area of focus that this audience is very interested in. Uh, a lot of SMBs value getting phone calls. What, what is the kind of economics or the pricing around call extensions if you were to um, you know, add a call button in some of the examples that you used? And how does that compare to a click in terms of pricing and, and all of that? I mean, it really varies by uh, vertical, of sure. course. So I have seen customers bidding pretty high on kind of very lucrative verticals, say insurance. Sure, or makes sense. Where a sale is really worth many thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. so if you think about it, if I buy a life insurance or if I buy car insurance, it's a, it's a pretty big, big sure. sale. So uh, customers in those verticals tend to bid pretty high for calls and, and they see calls are converting very, very well for them. Sure. But then there are, you know, other than insurance or finance vertical, we see travel vertical using calls heavily. Sure. We see local 
business is using calls heavily, and it it's, it kind of varies. In many verticals, the the call prices are similar to clicks. In yep. some, they are they are higher than clicks. One thing I will mention is maybe relevant to SMBs in particular who only want calls. And we have a lot of customers who came to us and said, "Hey, I only want calls." Sure. What we did was launch uh, something called Call Only Ads, and this has been uh, like a few a couple of years now, mm -hmm. I think. But we made that ad really better in terms of format. You see that our new click-to-call ads have this call button. Yeah, that that's is new. driving mm -hmm. driving higher CTR. So we are giving kind of more value, sure. both to the user and to the advertiser. It's easy for the user to find the button and click and call. Right. Uh, with call-only ads, for instance, advertisers can uh, create an ad which doesn't even go, doesn't even take the user or the customer to the website. Yeah. It's, there's a phone number on the and headline and a, and a phone button, huh. so you kind of get two things. Right. Both takes, it makes a call. Yeah. Well, I think and, it, and a lot of SMBs are taking advantage of Sure, I think in addition to the advertiser learning curve, there's probably a user learning curve too that are, they're used to clicking on that's a link, and I think that those things will hopefully kind of grow in step. But that's all we have time for. Uh, please join me in thanking Surajit. Thank you.